Hello everyone, Joe Neville here. Look what's just arrived. It's three Aruba 6300s. Let's get these boxes open. Okay, we'll put the stabby thing down. Open that box. Okay, so the box is open, here we are. Right, so what's this? Uh, it is, oh, this is for the mobile app actually. So that's the USB Bluetooth adapter attached in there. Uh, and we've got the, this is the UK power supply which I have ordered, of course, because I'm in the UK. And here, what's this over here? Okay, so, like ears, I believe, like you need to go from home. And here is the device. Let's get it out of the bag. Okay, let's get this up in my lab. Here is the Aruba 6300F. Let's take a closer look at the hardware. And the first thing I want to show you is this convenient orange tag on, that pulls out of the front. And this has got the MAC address, it's got the serial number, and it's got the part number, if I can get that to focus. So this particular model is a JL666A, and it's marked on the front as well. So this is 24 ports of 1 gig base T, and it's PoE. Here's our 24 ports. And then for uplinks, we've got here the four ports of 50 gig SFP. Also of interest on the front, we have this, the console port. So this is USB-C. And if you want to see this connected up, stay tuned because I'll be doing that at the end of the video. We have an RJ45 Ethernet management and we've got this port here marked as AUGS. And that is USB. And you can plug the Bluetooth adapter, which I showed earlier, into the front here to use the mobile app. So spinning this round, now the 6300F, the F stands for fixed. So part of the box, we have the fans and we have the power supply. And the power supply uses, uh, I'll show you this cable here, which came in the box, doesn't use an awful brick or anything like that. Okay, spin it back around. That's it for our quick look at the hardware. Let's get this booted up. Okay, I've just plugged in the cable and the 6300 is booting up. So now to connect to the console and it's USB-C and I found just by using the USB-C to USB-C cable that I've got that I power my Mac with, I can connect that up. So let's connect that in. It goes in there. And then over on my Mac to get onto the terminal, the command is screen and keep this steady dev forward slash tty dot usb if you tab then you'll get this modem and the speed is 115 200 okay so what i found is that i did get some garbage characters to start with but then it does start to appear correctly and the device is booting. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll be doing some more 6300 videos soon, but for now I've got a couple more boxes to open up. Where are they there? <laughs> um, and that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. My name is Joe Neville and goodbye.